Today we are going to be tasting something a bit different, the Unicum Liqueur from Hungary. Hi, I'm Jo and this is Maximo and we are Tipples and Treats. Today's tipple is something different, isn't it Maximo? Very different. Mm -hmm. So we've been on a bit of a gin and a whiskey fest roll mm. um but this is a liqueur so it's from hungary and it's called unicum so we were in hungary in 2019 a couple of years ago when we yeah. discovered this and uh it's, it's sort of a national drink of, it of hungary it is it's very well known there it comes in a quite a distinctive bottle um Obviously, we've already tasted it, but yes. I haven't had any in quite a while. Yes, have it's, we? It's, it's a bit of a, uh, a quiet taste, oh, it I is. think. It is. Very... We'll um, taste it again in a minute yeah. and um, remind ourselves what it's like. And uh, during this video, I'll, I'll pop up some of the photos that we took of our trip to Hungary a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's one that, um, that I recall that uh, we were in the, the main central market in Budapest where there was uh, lots of paprika mm. and plenty of unicum okay. bottles. So I'll, I'll post that up. To, um, yep, typical Hungarian indeed. shot paprika and unicum. So this particular um, liqueur um, was invented around 1790 mm -hmm. in Budapest in, uh, in Hungary. Which 1790 is on the back of the bottle. Indeed. Um, so the, the origins of this is it was um, invented by a Dr. Zwack, I think that's how you pronounce his mm -hmm. name, and he was the court physician to the King of Hungary, mm -hmm. and he invented this as a um, health elixir or herbal tonic. Mm. Do you think this has anything to do with sort of like, like a, a pharmacy mark, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. They're trying to persuade you that it's um, a healthy uh, health tonic drink. perhaps <laughs> so it's an alcoholic bitter tonic mm -hmm. and it's made up of 40 herbs and spices from all across the world mm -hmm. um, it's got quite a dark color and we'll see that uh, you sure. want to yep. pour some uh, and it does uh, it's quite a bitter taste um, in terms of the cost, this is um, around 44 Australian dollars. It's only a small bottle. It's um, mm. about it half a litre or something, yeah. 500 mil. Uh, $44 or 30 US dollars, uh, 25 euros or around about uh, 20 uh, English pounds. It's, it's quite a dark colour. It, it sort of reminds me very much of uh, port. Um, um, certainly doesn't taste like port, does it? <laughs> Splashed. I'll just leave that now. Mm. It's uh, a very unique. Knocks your socks off. No. I, can, I, can, I can get a faint aroma even from here without smelling it. Goodness, it's, uh, it's very pungent, isn't it? In a, <laughs> I guess in a, in a nice way, but um, mm, I'm smelling so many things. There's a this. lot going on here. Sort of cinnamon. Uh, Licorice, um, I mean, there's so much going there, on. There. there is a lot going on, yeah. It actually smells okay from it's memory. Sort of, I think it maybe, maybe it's smells sort of a, a little better than it tastes, but I'll mm, taste it. It's sort anyway. of fairly sweet. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't smell that differently from uh, what's the, the tiger balm, does it? You know, <laughs> I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made that comparison. <laughs> well, I certainly want to, wouldn't want to eat tiger balm. No, it's sort of a, a it reminds me of tiger balm though. Really? Yeah, it does. Maybe there's an ingredient that is uh, coming out of there. Maybe it shows an ingredient. Maybe that's what you're identifying. Indeed, yeah. Putting two and two together and making tiger balm. <laughs> okay. Shall we? Mm. Wow. Packed a punch. Uh, mm. 
it's it's very strong. That's that's forty percent. Forty percent alcohol, which is um, a fair bit for a liqueur. Mm -hmm. It's it's similar to a whiskey. And the feel, the the taste, just it sort of mm, goes and goes and goes. Oh yeah, it, I it think lingers for a long time. It's 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 quite it's, a bitter aftertaste, isn't mm, it? Mm. Quite a bitter. The, the the first taste on the first sipping mm. is quite a um, at the front of the tongue. It's quite a, a smooth, delicate um, taste. But as it sort of travels mm. uh, down down. Uh, through the mouth, it, it, it sort of expands and mm. gets more more bitter. All right, now our, our mouth has had a first taste. So the second taste can often be different. Different. It's sort of smooth on first taste, and it's sort of the, the I spice. Feel, I feel it on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, and it's quite smooth and, and nice on the just, tip of the tongue. Mm. And it just Sort of the, the bitterness when builds you, and grows. When you take a sip, do you like hold it in your mouth for a second? I do. Um, yeah, I do too. Yeah, I do. Just to mm. to get the taste. Yeah, yeah, get the full appreciation. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's so difficult to describe. I mean, forty herbs, like you can just taste. It's it's all sorts of things in this. It's it's a very it's quite bitter. It is. It's it's it quite is. bitter, but it doesn't start off bit bitter. Mm. It starts off sort of smooth and, yep. I guess, sweet and port like. Oh. Uh, and then it's definitely got a more of a. Mm, you know, I think the the. I don't know what herb it is, but there's definitely a strong herb bitter, bitter taste, taste coming mm. through. Yeah. Yeah, but um, it's. It's nice. It's not unpleasant. Oh no, it's not unpleasant. It's quite unusual, though. It is. It's quite unusual. You'd you'd have to like uh, uh, a bitter taste, so yeah. like a, a bitter tonic, uh, that, yeah. that sort of taste with um, with some spice and some pepper. Mm. It certainly, um, if you like trying different drinks, it's certainly one to give a go. Um, quite unusual, you know, if you're having friends around, you want to, you know, have a bit of fun, give them this and see if they can tell you what it is. They may not have even ever tried it before. Well, it's certainly an unusual name. Yes, it is. It's an unusual taste. Yes. Yep. Unusual bottle. Everything is unusual. unusual. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And on that note, Mm -hmm. Well, before we oh, yes. do our final, have you ever tasted Unicum? Write in the comments below what you thought of it. Was it a bit crazy on the mouth or did you love it or are you keen to give it a go? And if you've travelled and uh, tasted uh, mm. national drinks of mm. um, other, other countries that are, that are unusual, mm. Drop a comment below and, yeah. and share that with us. Yeah, we're always keen to try a new tipple. We are. Yes. No matter how unusual it might be. Yes, and we have a few unusual ones. Indeed we do. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple more to... Yes, and this, you can see the level on this bottle is about down here. So that's taken us two years, two years. more than two years yeah. to, to get through that. So we, we didn't drink it. No, I wouldn't have this every day. Ah, not even, like, we haven't even had it for several months, I don't no, think. We, no, I don't think we have. No. And if you've liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll um, come out with more, mm -hmm. um, hopefully once a week. Yes, sometimes more, but sometimes at least more. once a week. Indeed. Okay. Well, Joe. Cheers. cheers. Thank you.